Okay, that's some work I'm doing on that one. Um, not that that interests you if you're a Mercedes guy. This is tomorrow's piece of fun here. This is a, uh, oh, shit, I think it's a 2000, uh, but it's an E320, obviously Mercedes. And this customer is uh, a very good customer. I've, I've done lots of work for him and he always comes back to me and to you mechanics out there, treat people right, they come back to you. Don't rip them off. Don't tell them shit they need done when they don't. On this particular one, my customer is very astute. He does preventative maintenance. I'm going to be replacing the flex joints on the prop shaft. Do they need it? Hmm, who knows? But we're going to replace them. Um, I'm obviously going to do it because it's his request. But he is a very smart man to get um, preventative maintenance done. Um, and if you follow my channel, you'll see I've done a lot of work on this particular vehicle. Various things. So tomorrow, uh, um, although for you it's the next moment, I will be replacing the flex joints in the prop shaft. I am led to believe there are two of them. And, um, well, let's, uh, let's go get on with it, shall we? Okay, um, it's uh, time to replace the flex joints on this Mercedes. Unfortunately, as you can see, this gentleman has a leak from the rear seal on the transmission. Something I will advise him on that has to be replaced. Now, these nuts are 19 millimeter. And the same on the other side. There is things missing here, isn't there? I have taken off the um, transmission mount, the exhaust mount, and the bracket on the back there. That's the beast there. And the reason I took it all off, including that piece, was so that I could get to the back of these nuts easily. Can you do it without removing these items? You probably could, but for what it took me a few moments, not a problem. So uh, that's the next thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these underneath just so I keep the orientation the same. Nothing should move in reality, but you know, it does no harm just to put a little mark here, sorry, a little mark here and know that that lines up you know, with the transmission there, I'll give that a bit of a wipe too. Um, and I'll do the same on the rear. Come with me. And the rear one, as you can see, is a lot easier to get to. Not, not going to be a problem, that. Definitely not. Ooh, looks like he's given that a bit of a belt. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Oh, geez, that's the whole rear suspension. I'm not taking all that off. Geez. I wonder why that's leaking there. Well, not much. Just a trickle. Just a tricky woo. Oh, anyway, uh, this gentleman, um, as I've mentioned before, he likes to do preventative maintenance, which is good. And he said, look, I want to replace the flex joints. I said, well, have you checked them to see if they're okay? He said, no, but, you know, age, blah, blah, blah. And I, okay, fine. Look, you can see they're cracked. So this is a good preventative maintenance. When you consider the amount of torque that this engine produces, um, it's a good idea to, uh, to do this. Oh dear, I just spotted something else. That boot is split. Damn it. Oh, that's going to be a lot of work. Well, Mr. Ken, uh, you're going to have to think about this. Whether to replace those shafts completely. Ooh, gosh. That's a lot of work. Sorry, guys, I'm twisting the camera around here. But, you know what they say? Grease out, dirt in. 
and you don't just do one side. Okay, start saving up your pennies, buddy. Um, yeah, and this one's badly cracked. So this is going to need replacing. Um, yeah. Shit, whilst you're doing that, do you also do this leak, which is probably just a gasket on the back, but looking at this baby and the way this is set up, that's a hell of a job. <sighs> Must admit, my inclination would be to say no. Uh, shush. Because of the amount of money it will cost to do this, and by saying money, I mean labour. The parts probably, well, I mean the parts are going to be expensive because they're Mercedes, but it means this whole rear suspension has to be undone again. Uh, that's that's a lot of work. Yeah, but that... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to look around here now. You can see that's gone. Hang on a second, let me see if I can show you how this is gone. Yeah, look. That's completely split. Um, I am not a fan of just replacing boots. If you could just replace the boot on this, I don't know if you can. Uh, my personal preference would be to replace the shafts completely. Is that necessary? <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe just doing the boots would be enough. Fill it full of grease again. But you're still going to have to take it all apart, give it a damn good clean, and uh, inspect the joint to make sure inside there it hasn't uh, <clears throat> hasn't got um, destroyed by grit. And you don't do one, as I said, you do both. All right, mister, that's something for you to think about. And I know you're going to want me to give you a number. I'll have to do that. All right, um, so there you go. Um, I Sorry, I digress there a lot. There, um, well, this is what we've got to do. Let's get on and do the front one. Um, and uh, undo the nuts and bolts. Um, you don't need me to show you how to undo nuts and bolts and drop that down and put it back up again. It's not rocket science, is it, guys? Huh? And if you're going to do something like this, you're obviously capable. Um, so let me uh, uh, undo the uh, nuts and bolts there and, um, and see. Give me a second. Okay, just want to give you a little bit of a um, hint tip here. Sorry about this. Um, in order to get to the bolts that are up the top, up here where my finger is, it's easier to get this bolt out of the way. That way you can put the spanner up behind here, or the wrench. Um, the other thing, you will need to use, um, well, depending on the position of the shaft, I guess, you will need to use a, a universal joint. Um, where's mine gone? Oh, there it is. Uh, thusly. On the tape on it. That stops it from flopping around, but it still keeps it moving or movable. So now I've uh, got one, two, two more bolts to take out. Then this should be free. Oh, um, just to let you know, they, these parts were from Rock Auto. That's the part number there, WDS 35-501, unfortunately made in China. Come on, America, wake up. Right, let's get these two bolts out. <coughs> okay, uh, here it is, out. And as you can see, it is pretty badly cracked. Um, it was definitely a good idea to replace these. Now, just a little uh, thing to show you again. Hang on. You've got this little shaft here that goes into here. So you kind of have to lift this up to get the... Um, the donut, the flex mount off, and then you have to push it back a bit, and then it'll line up again. Okay, so it's 
I mean, you can push the shaft that way. It goes that way a little bit. Certainly enough for you to replace this. Now, my next job, and these, shit, I don't know whether you do this or not, but look at the state of that. That thing's fucking filthy. So I'm going to be cleaning that. I'm going to be cleaning that before I put everything back together. Um, it's going to take a little longer to do this, but I like to do the job properly. Um, and I will have to tell him about his seal. Um, he's got a few leaks and, well, that's what happens when you have these old babies. And over a period of time, I'm sure he'll get me to do all of these uh, leaks. And we'll keep going. All right. Again, thank you very much for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Please do like, comment, subscribe. I do all sorts of videos on all sorts of different shit. So, <laughs> um, all right. See you in the next one. Get out in the garage. Go do some shit, will you? Yeah. Oh, another little footnote. In order to get to the top nut and bolt, um, it's easier if you remove this bolt here or don't put this bolt in until you've done the one at the top. Again, that depends on the orientation of the shaft. Okay, obviously this is the joint in place, all nice and new. Now, when you buy them, they, they seem to come with a mixture of... Uh, Nut and bolt and hex. Um, and I'm going to put my hand up and say, I don't know whether I should have put the hex in here or the nut and bolt there. But it's, I don't know. Um, I can't think that it makes any damn difference. Um, and what I took out was nuts and bolts all the way around. So kind of strange the way they've done that. Um, if you've got any thoughts on that, let me know. And, and if I've got it totally wrong, then I'll have to get the car back and um, correct that um, mistake. Although I, I can't see why it makes any damn difference, in all honesty. All right, here we are. It is finished. And uh, those of you that uh, watched earlier clips will have realized um, I put this washer on the wrong side. On these hex bolts, you need the washer on this side. On the other bolt, you need the washer on the other side. Now, under normal circumstances, you will always put the washer on the side of the nut because that's where most of the strain and the, uh, the do and undo goes. Um, in this case, because of the, the joint, so we have a nice solid piece of metal here, doesn't need a washer. We have a nice solid piece of metal here, doesn't need a washer. We do need the washer here. This is where the rubber is. And the same applies to this side. So just do bear that in mind when you're putting this together. Um, it's kind of weird, but that's the way it should be. All right. Now, finally, get out in the garage and do some shit. I got to put everything back on now. There are the pieces there, cleaned up, ready to go back in. Well, as clean as they're going to be, let's put it that way. You know, perfection, no, they're just, they're just cleaned up a bit. All right, that's the end, go away.